So we are looking at question 6. 11 valid triangle numbers. So given an array consists, uh, that consists of uh, non-negative integers, the task is to count the number of triplets chosen from the array that can make triangles if we take them as side lengths of triangles. So for example, if the area that we are given is 2, 2, 3, 4, the output would be 3. And the reason why is because these are the valid um, combinations. And what the condition that you need to check if three given sides would uh, make a triangle is that if two given sides add up to be greater than the third side. So in this case, we see um, two and three that add up to five is greater than four. Um, two and three um, add up to uh, add up to five is greater than four. And the reason why we have duplicate duplicate sets is because there are two twos in here. Um, and then we have uh, two and two and three, where you have two and two that add up to four, which is greater than three. Um, right. So there are a lot of ways of doing this. Obviously, uh, the brute force method would be O of n cube. Uh, where you go through every single triplet and check um, if it makes if it hits this give get this given condition if it is you would just increment the count if not uh, you just don't increment it and move on to the next uh, iteration uh, but the the method that I'll be implementing today is uh, sorting and checking so we would be sorting the array which would be uh, which would take off uh, n log n complexity, and then we would have two for loops uh, to check this particular condition. Um, and then we wouldn't be using any additional space to store any of the data, so the space complexity would be O of 1. So I will explain the algorithm as I go so that it's easier to understand. So first, as I said, sort the array, um, and then just get the size. So and we go to nums dot dot length and then we have four and i is equal to n minus one so we would be going from uh from the right side and i is greater than or equal to two and the reason why we have greater than or equal to two is because we'll be using the left two elements to this particular case when i is equal to 2 to get the other sides and then you would decrement i with each iteration um and you would initialize two um uh, two pointers right after this so uh left would be zero so l would l stands for left you would initialize that to zero and then you would have right that you would initialize to i minus one so um yeah, so you'll have a while loop right after so as soon as um, l is less than r uh, you would continue doing this and then you would check if uh, nums of l plus nums of r if it is greater than um, greater than nums of i so you would add uh, or you would also need to initialize a count so let's say in count is equal to zero so you would increment count to equal r minus l and the reason why we're doing r minus l is because it doesn't just say um <clears throat> uh oh th this one particular index uh these and in, uh, indices uh, the values that they hold they satisfy the condition of making a triangle but the reason why you do that is because everything in between, so the left, which is the least possible element that you could add to the list, and R, which is, the, uh, sorry, um, um, R, which is the greatest element that you could add to that particular set, and L, which is the least element that you could add to the set. Since they form a triangle, if, uh, so everything in between, which is either less, uh, less than L, uh, so less than r or greater than l they would add up to be greater than nums of i so that's the reason why you add that here so you you are taking in everything in between and then if this is the case you would add and then you would decrement r otherwise if it is less than you would just uh, increment l and then at the end, you would just return, return the count. 
Uh, so let's quickly run this and see if this works. Okay, so the initial test case is accepted. Uh, and then we will submit to see if it's okay. Yeah. So let's just, if if it was a little hard to uh, understand, let's just go through an example. So here we have two, 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 three. Um, so since this is already uh, uh, started, so in the first run, you have I to be three. Uh, so it's pointing at three. And then you have L to be uh, two and right to be uh, two as well. So since both of these add up uh, to, to four and uh, it is greater than three, you would um, count that and you'd also count everything in between. So even, so for example, if you uh, go to two and you have these two, those two add up to be greater than three and then the first two elements also are three. So that's the reason why uh, you have this count. You count all of the indices that you could possibly get that would satisfy this condition. So R minus L. So uh, yeah, that's the question. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.